Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to create a new table from C sharp code into our SQL sample database. So, inspire of Visual Studio 2015. Already have an existing database called Student Database. So, you can see from the table, it's blank. There are no tables there. So from Visual Studio, we're going to be creating a new project. Let's call this create. I'm going to make it a console application. Create tab. Okay. Project has been created. So back to management studio. So I'm going to add two references as a system the data and system that data with SQL client. Very very important for connection into our SQL server management studio. Okay, I'm going to be writing a try catch um, statement. Okay, That's if successful, and if there is an error, you throw an error. Okay, back to SQL Management Studio. I need a connection string. Okay, so we're going to do that from Visual Studio, enter the server name and select the database. Student database, and the connection is successful. Okay, so we're good with that. Let's get the property so we can get the connection string for that database. Copy this into our code. So let's create a new string variable. Let's name this connection string. So this is the connection string. Next is to create a simple query, a create query. So let's name this a string called command. That's a query that will actually create this table. So right in my main studio, I have a simple query that I've created. So open the folder, I have a query called create table. So what this table does is we are using the student database. So if a table called department, as we're selecting from the system table on the student database, if this there is a table named named department, we need to drop that table department and create it again using the create statement of the SQL. So I'm going to copy this. Into the string called command. I'm going to paste this there. It's looking all messy. So let me dress it up. All right.
time using a uh, concatenation operator here to concatenate all the string together no matter where the lines we are So you can see, let me explain this briefly. We're creating a field called department ID, making it an integer identity, the seed value of one, and to increment by one, and making it not long that the user can actually enter a value. The next is the department name field, making the string of maximum value of 50, not long as well. In description, the maximum value of the string. Um, and the lecture, lecture ID, I think I don't need this. I'm going to be removing this from. I want to make this as simple as possible. So let me remove the lecturer field there. new connection string we are using the connection string the value the string value we created we're passing that to the object we're going to create a query a sql command name this name this cmd equals to a new query command so i'm using that command of last string Passing a connection string value two to that. All right. So the next thing is to open this connection string so you can have access to that database. And we need to execute the create query command using same day that execute create and query. So we need to write a success message if it is actually successful. So console dot remember is a console application. It runs on the command prompt console dot right line table successfully created. Okay, so we close the connection. All right, that should be good if it's successful. So if you choose an exception, there's an error. Uh, let's give the exception a name called ex. If there's an error, we need to display a message using console.write line. That's a string called error.
I concatenate this to the type of error that is displayed. Either it cannot connect to the database or the table was already there or such. So next is to make the command prompt to wait for us to enter a key before you can exit. So this simple code does that. I think we are good with this. So to be so we save a save before we start let's be very sure let's check our database again we don't have any table there so back to the application and let's step up okay let's wait Wow, table created successfully. That was cool. So let's check from our database. Let's refresh. You can see the department table has been created. Let's check the design. say department ID department name description so this is it so run it again you see successful all right thank you for watching you can subscribe and like my videos for more videos thank you